In front of me lay the battered, bloody body of a young woman. Is that girl dead? Why is there a dead body? What happened? There's no way. Is this another student? Holy. <laughs> okay, I'm not reading that. Um... The dining hall people. You were in this building before us. Tell us what's going Dad. on. Why didn't you mention this other girl? The hell? I've never seen her. Really? Huh? You were the two bargain bin. <laughs> Don't even. There's a floor below us. That's where I woke up. Very funny. And you missed a whole person? <laughs> yeah, right. Hell no. You saw her. You must have seen her. Come on, just admit it. Stop pressing me for an answer, you. Hold on. I can... I can... Cor... Coro... I can... I feel like I know what that word says. I can... I don't know what that says. Damon's story. There's, there's never a body. Miss Madison and I walked through this hallway and saw exactly nothing. This is the door I kept trying to open too. So between the time you left and the time you returned, this girl was murdered? You think she was murdered? Well, I don't know for sure, but what happened to her? Does that look self-inflicted? <laughs> so there's a killer running loose? But I don't recall hearing anything when I was waiting outside. Desmond, can you back me up, right? Shit. She's right. There's no screams and no one left the building. So the killer's still inside? As more panic shouts filled the corridor, he has silently walked over to the body. Boy, what do you think you're doing? Ignoring Grace's question, she crouched down beside the dead girl and poked her face. It poked her in the face. The, the F is wrong with you. Stop that. Okay, it's not real. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, okay. Ooh, thankfully, thankfully. <laughs> this girl. She's just a dummy. A dummy? No, -uh, that's definitely a real body. D didn't you just say you were a liar? Why should we believe you? If you don't believe me, inspect it yourself. That's true. Oh, go touch it. Go. <sighs> if no one else is offering, I can do it. Wait, him? Oh, does that? How does that sound, to everyone? He turned to each of us. I held my reservations, but when his gaze met mine, my lips instantly sealed shut. The look he gave me—it was unexpectedly intense. Yes, you can do it. The pirate casually approached the body and knelt beside it. Then, just like Ava, I'll be damned. would you look at that? She's right. It is a dummy. For real? Say what? H how did she know it was fake? You see. My intuition. Oh, so a corpse would smell. This doesn't smell. Dude, no. A as if. Could you be any more sus suspect? What? That ain't not just that, there's something under the dummy. Huh? huh, what is it? A tablet. John rose from the ground and turned around to face us. Sure enough, he was holding the tablet. It was slid under the dummy. There's no blood on it as far as I can tell. Nice hiding place. Huh. Hey, wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't taken a closer look. Given the impression I was supposed to do. Given the impression I was supposed to, don't it? Hey, what's going on with the tablet? Let me turn it on. He pressed a button, then walked over and held the tablet out for us to see. Oh, it's loading something! After a few seconds, the loading symbol vanished. And its place was a photo of a girl. Ultimate teacher's aid? About five, six... Huh. Oh wait, I forgot. I skipped the line. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? However, the tablet hadn't finished loading. After that image. Cause of death? She was stabbed 28 times in her torso. 
and died from blood loss. The victim also suffered from chemical burns to the head. The most notable burns are to her eyes and scalp. Time of death is unknown. The victim was Kara. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. The ultimate teacher's aide. She was stabbed in the torso 28 times. The victim also suffered chemical burns to the head. The most noble burns being her eyes and scalp. Cause of death is blood loss. Time of death is unknown. It reads like a body report. First a dead body that's revealed to be a dummy. Now a body report. What the hell is going on? Jeez, took you long enough to find that tablet. Wait, this isn't and this is unknown. Mm-hmm. Long, long ago, a hin a Hainuis, I don't know how to pronounce that word, murder was committed. And the victim so happened to be an ultimate, much like yourselves. What? Before you is a perfect reconstruction of the crime scene as well as an I don't know how to pronounce that, of the victim with the appropriate injuries. It was quite emotionally draining to craft that dummy. It served as a strong reminder of what was lost. <laughs> she was such a nice girl. <laughs> so much potential lost to violence. <laughs> what was this man playing at? Anyway, it's your responsibility to figure out the details of her death. The surrounding area, the murder weapon, how she reacted in her final moments, eh, and I don't know how to say that, <laughs> etc. My bad. Okay, I do know how to say that. Oh, but don't worry about finding the murderer's identity. He's already right in front of you. See that gray man on the tablet screen? Yep, that's your guy. Please investigate the crime scene and gather. S Please investigate the crime scene and gather as many clues as you can. After a certain period of time, you will be asked to present your findings to me. Believe me, it is in your best interest to put your full effort into this. Have fun, everyone. Not okay. Investigation? What the hell? Back off. Uh, enough of this already. I don't want any part of this. Stop telling me what to do. Grace grabbed a log chunk of rock and from the floor and threw it over at the speaker, screaming and screaming and ah. I don't know how to pronounce that. She pulled her hand back as far back as she could. Ooh. No way. Was that the watch? Trying to destroy private property? That's a zap. Oh my god. Is he for real? Is this school trying to make us solve an old murder? Hold on, you guys. You can just believe everything that strange man claims. Why would Eden's Garden Academy, any academy for that matter, do something like this? Even if it tried to, the Ultimate Talent Program would have stopped them. I wouldn't underestimate the school board executives. Money can get to people's heads and make them take risks they shouldn't. This academy said it was unique. Maybe this is their version of an entrance exam. What a joke. They're so obsessed with being different from the competition, they've forgotten what people want. More like they've forgotten how to be sane. What did you say? Would the UTP really be okay with this? Think about it this way. Seems pretty counterintuitive. People would really want to quit their enrollment after this. Uh, and so... If, and if this is the work of a separate group, why are they using the Academy's name? As a way to hide their own, or maybe. They might have even kidnapped us because we are attending Eden's Garden Academy. Explain. It would explain why we passed out. They boarded the train before us and planted the bag with the gas. There's gotta be something. Because this happened on the train to the Academy. They claim they are the Academy. They could claim they are the Academy. Okay. Ask. Everyone keeps saying they. Isn't it the speaker man who kidnapped it's us? It, it wasn't... It obviously wasn't just him. Seizing a train, bringing 16 people to an unknown location that takes a team to do. Of course, that raises another glaring question. Why us? Why have we been brought to this? Is it because we're ultimates? It's not like anyone's specialty is detective work. It just doesn't add up. I think I will let the rest of you handle this. 
I doubt I'm needed in this grotesque situation. I'll just be on my way. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Actually, can I come with? I feel super bad leaving you alone. Oh my sure. god. Um, sure, I suppose. You can do it. Good luck solving the mystery, everyone. I know you can do it. On that note, Diana and Toshiko walked away in the direction of the room with the kitchen. Oh. Uh, uh. Don't get close. Uh, I'm going with them. Screw this. Kai took off down the hallway like his life depended on it. Jeez, better them than us. I don't know. I don't know about all of this. Will that man really let us go if we investigate? Calm. We won't know if we continue standing around like this. For now, all we can do is take a risk and do as he says. He's right, I need to brace myself and follow the directions I've been given. As for now, it's my only way to learn more information about the current situation. I can only hope that this ordeal will be over soon. Whoa. Before I do anything else, I should go back over that tablet. Okay. The victim is- I still don't know how to pronounce her last name. The ultimate teacher's aide. She had been stabbed in the torso 28 times. Wow. The victim also suffered chemical burns to the head. Most noticeable burns to her eyes and scalp. Cause of death is blood loss. Time of death is unknown. There's a lot going on here. Chemical burns in addition to 28 stab wounds? Jesus, I don't know- I don't Jesus, I don't want to believe anything the speaker says, but if this murder really is based on true events, damn, the killer is totally sick in the head. Alright. Okay, we should start with investigating the body here then. There's a gun. Our captors gave us a lot of information about this victim. To our credit, what's written on the tablet seems accurate. But I should inspect the body just in case. Damn it, it's just a doll. Damon, stop hesitating. Oh my god. The doll was slumped against the door, her torso soaked in blood. Parts of her skirt had been ripped open, exposing bits of bloody in dis I don't even know how to pronounce that hope. I literally took a step back trying to control my breathing to avoid throwing up. It's just a doll, there's no reason to be afraid of a doll. It's just a doll, it's just a doll. Bloody knife, we'll start with that. A bloody knife lay next to the victim. It's safe to say that this must be the murder weapon. It could be. I mean, it is covered in blood. So is the assault rifle. The initial sight of the doll shocked me so much I completely overlooked this rifle. Inspecting it now, I realized something. If the victim was stabbed, why was there a rifle near uh -huh. her body? That rifle, could you step back for a bit? I'm curious about something. No. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I skipped a line, but whatever. Before I could finish my sentence, John walked over where I was and picked up the gun. Hey. Hey, you're messing with the crime scene. Ignoring me, he re released the magazine of the gun with a surprising yeah. ease. From the top of the magazine, he... Protruded a loaded bullet. I don't know if I'm not saying. Huh, that's interesting. This rifle hasn't even been used. Definitely a dangerous thing to have around. I'll put it down and guard it so nobody gets any smart ideas. Better than him holding it. Damn, a loaded gun. What was going on in the killer's head? Why bring a gun to a crime scene and not even use it unless the gun was purely for intimidation? It's not logically, it's not, okay, it's not logical, but it'd be twisted game to play with the victim. Alright, we got the assault rifle, and lastly, just the body. The girl has been stabbed repeatedly, I don't need the tablet to know that. However, her cause of death, you'd think it was a stab to her heart or something, but the tablet claimed blood loss. Taking closer look, the wounds, they don't seem excessively deep at least not deep enough to pierce her heart if she died from blood loss what does that say about the killer they probably could have killed her quickly if they wanted but they want her to suffer a slow death damn it this is messed up that is messed up okay 
My nerves are telling me I need to leave, but I I know better than to listen. Okay, so there's still something else we need to hands. Our hands were surprisingly clean. All things considered, there were no other marks or injuries apart from her nails. It looked like there was dried blood underneath them. Why was there blood underneath her nails, and not on the rest of her hand? I don't know. That seemed to be at all the evidence. Nothing else was catching my eye. I should check inside the closet now. We can we can do that. Okay. Okay, we can. Like the rest of the building, the inside of the closet was old and dilapidated. I know, I know how to say that. See, I got a really high vocabulary, I swear. It was the last place I'd want to dig through, but I had to gather as much evidence as possible. Otherwise, I won't be able to present a strong argument. <laughs> we are the ultimate debater after all. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll save talking to everyone for last. I just wanna, okay, we can investigate the shelf. The shelf was packed with an assortment of towels. I briskly inspected them, lifting each towel to check for anything underneath. This music is so good. Many had gathered dust, but that's not it. Nothing looks suspicious out of them. Bucky. It's a bucket. Pretty typical thing to find inside a janitor's closet. But why randomly lying here? There's nothing inside it except... What is this smell? It smell like bleach? Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Back of closet. Okay, okay, okay. Well, they're telling me there's still more to do over here. A uh, clock. There's a clock above the door. It doesn't seem like it works. That's it? Okay, we'll talk to Eva. There might be more clues around here. I'm gonna check the entire closet for evidence. No thanks. A person like her is probably more likely to cause a murder than not to solve one. Alright, have fun with that. <laughs> Wolf Gang. <laughs> I love his name, bro. We must make every effort to examine the crime scene as thoroughly as possible. Not for the sake of entertaining the people who kidnapped us, but for the sake of the victim. After all, this was based on a real murder, was it not? That was what the tablet said, though I'm still skeptical about the validity of that statement. I don't, I don't even know if I said that right. <laughs> oh my god, I struggle so much. Okay, and you, Cassidy Amber. Check it out. <laughs> hey, check out what's behind this door. Saying, saying that she stepped away from the corner. Right. It's a ladder. Oh, they probably like don't bleach on her. The ladder doesn't seem like there's anything strange about it. Why was this brought to my attention Dude, again? Not cool. I'm disappointed in you. So you call that thing a ladder? It's obviously a step ladder. Seriously. Aren't they practically the same thing? I have to agree with Miss Amber. Everyone knows an ace investigator must record his evidence as accurately as possible. That's true. That's certainly what the victim would want. Look, a guy that doesn't get my reference is no fun to be around. I'm gonna check out the peeps outside. Smell you later, lawyer man. She already... She's already out of here? Did she even investigate anything besides that stupid ladder? Looks like that's everything around here. I should check out the other end of the room. I can't inspect the ladder. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go do the little enter thingy. And yeah, we, we investigated everything, I'm pretty sure. We can go to the back of the closet. So what I'm like, what I'm, oh, whoa, 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 we're all packed in here. Um, the, the ladder, they probably dumped the bleach on her or something like that. That's, you know, that's, that's the first thing, first thing that comes to my mind. Okay, let's talk to these guys first. Gotta stay one step ahead. I checked all the containers on this shelf. I checked all the containers on this shelf. They're all full with the exception of one, a bottle of bleach. Huh? Huh? There was a bucket in this closet that reeked of it. That's probably not a coincidence given the thing is supposed to emulate a real crime scene. 
It's crazy how much effort was put into this. I can't think too much about what kind of situation we're in, or I'll never be able to handle it. Again, this music, bro. Golly. These shelves are real intriguing. Take a look, some cleaning brands go as far as the 80s and 90s. You recognize them? Because I use them. Why would you do that? Old chemicals are the job better since there are fewer regulations about what's poisonous and all that. <laughs> Just don't ask where I got them. <laughs> I don't want to alert the fuzz. <laughs> I'm sure they don't care about her black market cleaning supplies. <laughs> you. Win Wimona. <laughs> However you pronounce your name. Wimona. That security camera is brand new. Now that she mentioned it, it does look out of place. You think it would be gathered? You think it would have gathered dust like the other items in here? Did it recently get cleaned or something? My company's headquarters are similar ones installed, except these cameras are even more high tech. Hmm. Typical school spending more money on security than educating their students. That's assuming this is even the academy's doing. It's probably not. Okay, can we inspect anything other than this camera? It's another surveillance camera. Is the guy on the speaker watching us through this? Just the thought made my stomach turn. Alright everyone, that's time. Look at you, you investigated the crime scene so well. It's enough to bring a tear to my eye. Jokes aside, please meet at the elevator for the class trial. You should find it somewhere around the tree of ignorance. Don't make me wait too long. I might start getting zappy, zap happy. Oh my god. Flash heart, what the hell does that mean? Sounds like that's the end of our investigation. What? Um, if we're done with this closet, we should go outside and talk to the others. Oh no. Ross. Boy, what the hell is a class trial? Uh, Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, Obviously, we're going to court. What? Court? What? He's going to put us on trial. Listen to me. Maybe it's where we talk about the clues we found. Just saying. It makes sense for our current situation. Investigation clues, files. What else could that stuff be for? Well, what? Good point. It does seem oddly familiar to court procedures. Obviously, we're missing key suspects and witnesses, but they don't seem to be relevant to this case anyway. Wait a minute. He mentioned that this elevator was near the Tree of Ignorance, right? He must be referring to the room with the tree. Focus. Probably, yeah. It's the one thing I can think of. However, I don't recall seeing an elevator anywhere. Just follow me. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get our butts over there. She keeps treating this like a dumb game. If we're really going on trial, that's going to be a nuisance to deal with. Thank you. Okay. We might as well go follow her. One by one, everyone left. I guess I have no choice but to go as well. Wait, can I? Okay, okay, okay. But there might be more to this. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm running away. I'm running away. Actually, never mind. That sounds really boring. Let's just go. This music was good, gang. <laughs> How do you remain so? S uh, why do you have such a high vocabulary? You're a child. At a time like this, aren't you worried it's at simple. all? Not really. It's not like we're investigating some high stakes murder. It's just a dummy. That's it. <laughs> I I yes, I. Yes, quite. I completely concur. She's obviously faking it without even looking at her face. I can tell she's sweating bullets. Okay, now I have a feeling that they're they're testing our our like they're testing how good we are at solving murders, and then in Danga Rampa fashion, they're gonna make us start killing each other. That that's that's just my guess. That's just my guess. Oh yeah, that that looks like a door on the tree right there. Did I not? Was that not there before? When I arrived at the tree, I saw that people were already bickering. Check it out. 
A big tree. Eden's Garden Academy overused religious symbolism is tight. Uh, I really hope we get let out after oi, this. You. <laughs> Can you confirm, liar chick? Hmm? Hmm. Why are you asking Come her? Off Come off the grass. She's clearly faking her talent. I hearing you right? And that makes her one of the bad guys? Who would want to fake their identity besides someone with a secret to hide? <laughs> I bet she's the one who brought that gas bomb into, onto the train. Really? And she didn't think to bring a mask to avoid passing out or whatsoever. If no or one whatever. Else is gonna say it. If all you need was a mask to protect you then. Girl. Hey, don't look at me. I literally passed out. The helmet's got plenty of holes in it. I'd suffocate otherwise. I've got something to say. Wait, don't you got a C in there though? No, the liar chick's totally sus. Just look at how calm she's been acting. She somehow knew the dead body was a dummy, then she poked it in the face. That's not normal. I told you, it was my intuition. Intuition, my... Hold your horses. It's not unbelievable. My gut told me we should inspect the dog. Now look at us. We're on a mission to solve our murder. Any clue? Uh, where's this elevator supposed to be again? That's right, there's meant to be an elevator around here. But all I see is the tree of ignorance. Maybe we're missing something here. Or maybe we're being played or for fools. <laughs> oh, we can move around. We just talk to everyone, huh? Damn. That golfer woman made some loud. That golfer woman made some loaded accusations, huh? People can believe what they want about me. In the meantime, I'm going to search for that elevator. All right then. Well, I mean, it's probably that or this. The more I look at it, the more confused I am. I'm gonna get a headache, I better stop. Or it's this. But I can't inspect this, so I guess not. Then we'll just talk to you. New objective, find the elevator. It can be hard, can it? Come on, let's investigate. Uh, none there, entrepreneur woman. Let's get this over and done with. Nope. Oh, there's a, like a, like a top floor. At the base of the tree was a marble bust depicting a figure in a creepy mask. There were cracks all over the mask and one of the eyes was missing. How old must this thing be? Whatcha doing? You notice the statue too, don't you? Huh? Oh yeah. You all right? What's up with the statue? Hmm. There's definitely something whack about it. I just can't put my finger on what. The mask is broken, there's a piece what? missing. Is that weird? That statue is probably like super old it makes sense it'd be cracking and stuff no this definitely seems intentional Way. like it's crafty on purpose even so it's not relevant to the elevator is it mm, well you know what about... maybe if we find a piece and place it back on the statue something will happen like a puzzle solving game hmm. that sounds kind of far-fetched but it wouldn't hurt to try you saying we gotta look around for a part of the mask? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your butts, cause I got the eyes of a predator. Whatever. This is com. Mm, never mind. With that, everyone started to search the tree again. Some people inspected the tree itself, while others scoured around it. After what seemed like only a few minutes, Gray stood up frantically with something in her hand. Oh, everyone! I found it. We gathered around Grace to see what she was holding. Nice. Nice, that must be it. Um, what should we do with it? Do we just stick it back in the mask? Leave it to me. Probably, yeah. I'll take care of it. Soybean. Back off, Hercules. You ain't the one who found it. Grace brought the piece over to the statue and slotted it right back into the mask. And then, nothing happened. Fail. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh. Suddenly, the ground we were standing on began to shake. Really? <laughs> are, are we about to die? 
Was the whole room the elevator in disguise? Oh, no, no, it was a tree. Oh, who, who would have thought? Yo! <laughs> I was right. That actually worked? A secret passageway in a tree. Never thought I'd see that. The tree of knowledge, a symbol of sin, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, intuition, understanding, exists here only as a barren replica. The tree of ignorance emulates the wonder of nature, but does not achieve it. And justly so, for ignorance, often as, I, I, why can't I say these words to be seen as wisdom? Game over, man! Game over! Oh, oh god, now he's spinning random philosophy, we're so effed! Uh um, um, will this take us to the elevator? What about... Mm, there's stairs at the foot of the Let opening. What are we waiting for? Let's explore. Why the sudden Duh. rush? I want to get home. Duh. Elementary, my dear. <laughs> if we get this over with, we'll get out quicker. It's simple math. Huh. Fair enough. So we just walk in, do we? One by one, we approach the opening of the tree. And descend it into the darkness. This is an elevator. I see the elevators underneath the tree. Reckless investments, I'm telling you. With a rumble, the elevator began its descent. We stood in silence, 16 worried strangers plummeting into the unknown. And that's what we were, after all. Random people thrown into this horrible place, and for what? Some twisted man's game? The freight. A fake crime scene, an investigation with a creepy statue, an elevator, and a tree. None of this was work of an average kidnapper. This was something much bigger, and in no way could it be connected to Eden's Garden Academy. Yeah. Probably not. I hope not. The elevator began to slow, <laughs> snapping me out of my thoughts. I can't read. I stood up tall and went... Oh my. Ah! I stood up tall, and when movement stopped completely, the doors opened. In front of us was a large circular hall supported by marble pillars. In the center of the room, 16 pod. What? Had been arranged into a circle. Were those for us? Welcome everyone, I hope you enjoyed the elevator ride, even if it was a little bit quick. As you can see, this is the trial room. Each podium has a name on it. Find your designated poem and stand there until I give out further instructions. However, and if we don't comply, then I'll zap you, of course. Back off. Not this zapping crap again. Yes. Just face it, Miss Madison, we have to go along with his demands. Looks like there's a few smart ones in the pack, eh? Well. Come along now, we don't have all day. There was no avoiding it. We had to assume our places. There's like a big king chair in the back. Scanning the faces around me, everyone wore familiar expressions. Discomfort, anger, worry. It didn't end. We've been kidnapped and forced to play as pawns in some inane game. I hope I said that right. No free will, no choice in our actions. All we could do was move forward. We had a hope for an, for an escape, a way to return from this twisted place. We had to solve this murder case. Dang, 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 dang.